and a very good evening to all my viewers out there. It is right now Saturday, May the 9th, 2020. It's approximately 6.41 p.m. And we're here in the corner of the Maisonneuve in Peel Boulevard, right outside Peel Metro. And here I am, I got my mask on, which I just ordered and I have a hat on because I'm in desperate need for a haircut. And as you know, right now there's no barber shops open. But uh, as you can see up here, we're still in the midst of that pandemic. COVID-19 doesn't look like it's going away anytime soon. Even though here in Quebec, they're talking about reopening the province and later on the city within the month. And uh, well, it's a balance between the economy, I guess, and saving lives. And I don't know what to think. It's pretty chaotic right now. And Either way you look at it, there's pros and cons. But uh, anyways, I'm trying a new format out on my phone here. This is, uh, I got an update on my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, which allows me to record in full definition. Uh, sorry, not full definition, but full screen mode. And I'm not really sure what this means. I'm trying it out here for the first time. And from what I can see, I'll explain it right now. Uh, usually on my phone when I'm recording, on the screen there's a black border on either side of the screen when I'm recording a video. But right now I don't see that border. And the whole screen right now is filled up. So I don't know if that means that basically more of the image is going to be recorded in the video. I don't know if it's going to be more of a, I guess you can say tunnel vision point of view. Because right now, I'll show you an example. Where my hand is right now, usually this is, there's a black border here on either side. But now it's actually recording in that spot where it's usually blocked off. So we'll see how it looks on YouTube. This is just a test video, so if it fails, well, at least I gave it a shot, right? What is there to lose? I always say, you know, life is about experimenting, trying new things, and you can't succeed if you don't fail a few times. And we're on the corner now of Drummond. There's Mont Royal to our north. And again, we are heading westbound right now here on De Maisonneuve towards Guy Concordia. I'm not gonna stay out too long. I'm actually on my way to the pharmacy right now. Uh, Pharmapri, also known as Shopper Drugs Mart, or sorry, Shopper's Drug Mart, has some good deals usually on the weekends. Look at this license plate, 1996. Well, I wonder when the owner of this car was born. Anyways, rather interesting to see those custom license plates. We'll uh, briefly cross over here. Quick view to the east. And we're coming up to De La Montagne, or Rue de la Montagne, which is also Mountain Street. If you want to translate. By the way, this structure right here, I believe, is a metro vent. Well, let's go check it out fast. I believe it's a metro vent. From what other viewers have told me. I don't know if we're going to see anything. The vent might actually be on the top. Yeah, so really not much to see here. Very empty parking lot for a Saturday night. By the way, that tower right there that you see, I'll uh, show you here. That building right there is a CIBC building, which is a bank. Here's the Holt Renfrew Ogilvy, Ogilvy building. Here's the parking rates, by the way, if you're interested. This is in normal times. Right here shows you everything. 
Monday to Friday, Saturday, after seven, fourteen dollars. So that's just showing you what Montreal looks like. And look at this, we've got some leaves here coming on the bushes. And there, of course, is Mont Royal, the Mont Royal Broadcasting Tower. I'll zoom in for a moment to show you. And that's the Montreal Lookout right there. And we'll quickly cross the street. And again, we're walking to Guy Concordia Metro Station. Now, can you imagine me walking down the street on May 9th, 2019, wearing this mask? What would people have thought of me? <laughs> they think this guy's crazy. Well, I mean, this is normal times right now, right? These things here are pay phones, in case you don't know. Which I predict will be obsolete within the next decade. Although they are convenient if you ever lose your cell phone or you come across a situation where you don't have access to a phone. Yeah, this ATM machine, I don't think, was really smart to put in downtown Montreal, just my opinion. This is a what, Ben & Jerry's? I think it is. Yeah. There's a Depener, a little Depener. And the Depeners have survived, man. They've been around for years and decades. And this is Crescent Street, which normally around this time of year would be bursting with life. Mind you, it is cold. We're actually under a polar vortex right now. And Crescent Street, by the way, is pretty much the biggest street in Montreal in terms of uh, bars, restaurants. The party scene, I guess you can call it. Now we're coming up to Bishop. Notre Bouf de Grasse. Little play on words for Notre Dame de Grasse. If you're interested in the pricing, well, there it is. Oh, shot at the menu. Yeah, so I mean, these are areas that are usually targeted towards uh, tourists and whatnot. There's Concordia University, one of the buildings. I did a couple of math courses in here at one time. Check this camera out. You know the lenses on it. Interesting. Yep. And you can see the skies are actually pretty clear right now. So again, I'm heading towards the Farmer Prix here on the corner of Guy Concordia and St. Catherine Street, which I think is where I'm going to conclude the video. Here is Mackay or Mackay Street, however you want to pronounce it. And this building right here is the Henry F. Hall building, or the Sir George Williams campus. There's a bike which is in better shape than the bike I showed you earlier in the video. Here's that art that I that art exhibit that I recently filmed. Alright. And uh, if you're depending on where you are in the world, you may not have one of these, but these are bicycle traffic signals right here. Look at this. Specifically for cyclists on this bike path.
All right, so we are heading up to uh, Guy Concordia right now. Sorry, I should say Guy Concordia Metro, specifically Concordia University and Rue Guy, or if you want to pronounce it to English, Guy Street. There's an A&W, another restaurant right there beside it. Thai Express, which is one of my favorite restaurants. Uh, just to give you a personal suggestion, I uh, suggest the Pad Thai Spicy Chicken. So we're going to turn left here, which is heading in the south direction. Uh, this is where you can catch the 165 bus, which will take you to Cotonage Boulevard, which is connected to Rugi. And the uh, this bus takes you right to Cotonage, which ironically, at one point, this used to be a tramway. And they're talking about bringing back that tramway. They used to go from here all the way to Cotonage. And I know one of my subscribers, uh, German Corb, did a great video, a drive from Cotonage all the way to downtown Montreal. And these articulated buses, I think, are the closest things that you can get to uh, a tram or a trolley. So we are coming up now to uh, St. Catherine Street. This here is a TD, uh, TD Bank. And it's actually in a building that used to be a bank. I don't know which bank it was. I think if you go to the front, you'll see. There's some more people here with masks. And there's the line up to get into the Farmer Pre, which like I said, if you live in a different part of Canada, is known as Shoppers Drug Mart. So I'll be waiting in that line momentarily. And there's the view facing west on St. Catherine Street and the view facing east. And they still have, just to show you a sign of the times, they still have the St. Patrick's Day Parade signs still up here from March. There's a hybrid bus, Route 15 going by. All right, so I'm gonna wrap her up here. Thank you all for watching, more videos to come. Looks like quite the lineup.